name is Optimus Prime, and here is an awesome video review from Jesse. Now watch as he lights our darkest hour. Yeah! Hey guys, Jesse here. Today we're bringing you a video review for the Transformers Combiner Wars Devastator. Uh, the pretty psyched to finally be getting around to talking about this guy. Uh, here's the box and basically had to get up to show you the box around. In front of it here on the top you get each of the Constructicons. Here you get how big Devastator is. See all the Constructicons there. And some more here. I really do love this uh, artwork for Devastator himself, um, but this is going to be a pretty long video, so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at each of the constructed guns by themselves. And here we have Hook in his vehicle crane mode. Um, pretty, but all these vehicle modes are pretty simple. All the robot modes are pretty simple, but. They still, they do a really good job at uh, portraying the characters as they're intended. And I'm not expecting third party quality from these uh, figures. Like, th I mean, they're going to be simple. These are not $100 figures each. They're Voyager class figures. And for a price point, I, th I still like these a lot. Uh, however, I do wish that the. I hate these new tires that they switch to where these wheels just pop off very easily. Um, but. Other than that, um, it still looks really good. This uh, hook does have a tendency of uh, like falling apart kind of easily. Uh, like this hinge here that is meant for the uh, Devastator mode is uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Let me just scoot up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I got his Decepticon symbol here. Very yellow ish green. Very purple and very black. It was some silver, uh, and it rolls a little bit. Has a little bit of trouble just because of the feet here do kind of get in the way, but it's uh, it's still not bad. Uh, transform him into uh, robot mode. First, you're just going to need to pop the arms out to the side like this. Sorry, I popped the arms to the side like this, and then just kind of move this whole section up like that. Go around the front here. These bits will uh, rotate down. This guy needs to move down a little bit more. And not gonna harp on it too much. Fold these bits down here on it for his hands. Fold, go ahead and fold out his arm arms to get him a little bit more looking more like a robot. There you go. Just like this. And then these bits here fold down. will fold down to uh, finish forming his legs. Just like that. And here he is in robot mode. Very big. All of these except for um, except for um, the dump truck. I forget his name. Shit. Um, uh, are pretty much about uh, Voyager class size and this guy looks really cool I, I really do love the head sculpts on all these guys I love that all the eyes are painted red they are, don't use any of that light piping shit which I really really hate now I just the I mean instead of like them looking like they're black soulless eyes and they have red painted eyes and it looks so much better I really do like them. Uh, the posability is the posability on all these guys are gonna be kind of limited, but he does have a swivel and a hinge in the shoulder, 
And yes, elbows on these guys is kind of silly uh, when they do have them, but it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. At least, I mean, it's pat. It's it's serviceable. It's not, you know, it's he's, they're not bricks. Uh, they do. I also have a ball. No, not necessarily a ball joint, but a swivel and a hinge and a thigh hinge here, knee joint and. Just because he has a little bit of foot movement too, but really good looking one. Like him a lot. Next up, we got Bone Crusher here, and really nice looking, uh, boom, boom, boom type of truck. I'm, I'm very scatterbrained right now. I can't think of what this is called, but I do wish that the tank treads, or tank treads, just the treads were painted purple. I know that like this is keeping um, in spirit of the original G1 toy, but still wish it was purple. Uh, very quickly, transform him into uh, robot mode. First, just going to detach the treads here and bring these out right here to the click, clickety, click, click. Something like that. Like that. And then fold these bits down here. Form the legs, which this is not wanting to stay together well at all. Okay, whatever. I'll worry about it later. I got a cut on my thumb, and it hurts to press on stuff like that. Fold out this stuff here to form the feet. Fold this bit here down. And release this section here. Fold this out here. And rotate these arm bits down. Fold out the head. Like this, and this will slide in place. And it's supposed to. There you go. This will pop, slide in place like that, and you just fold that into his chest here. This will not stay tabbed together for me. It's really, it's really hurting me. It, it, it legit is hurting me. Cause look, look at this shit. Look at his stupid ass cut I have on my thumb. Hurts like crazy. But and I'm putting myself through pain for you guys. But this thing will not cooperate with me at all. And then pull that little guy down. So, <laughs> I figure this one is definitely one of the more finicky ones. I still like it. It looks cool. The Although he is being a big pain in the ass and won't stay together. Kind of there, maybe? Okay. Close enough. And here he is, Bone Crusher. He's pretty badass looking. I like him a lot. Uh, kind. Of, I like. I like the kind of generic robot look of this guy. He he doesn't have a whole lot of kibble on him. I like. I like the Transformers that just kind of look like generic bots in robot mode that don't have like. Uh, just pieces hanging off arrow and this one he's pretty solid. And I like him uh, Quite a bit All right enough on this guy was so let's uh, move on to someone else. I'm not sure yet next up we got mix master and He is definitely the weirdest vehicle mode like the front looks like a back and the back looks like a front Not sure what's going on here, but yeah, this this is technically the front, but it's really more traditionally the back, and this was 
supposed to be the front, but it looks more like the back. I it's kind of weird what's going on he here, but so much so that they uh, Doctor Wu made a a whole another Mixmaster figure just to replace this guy. But I still like him. He's kind of weird looking and crazy, but he could go either way. This could be the front. This could be the back. I don't know. But yeah, they, this side is definitely intended to be the front. So, but it's completely backwards. But it's interesting. I li I still like it. Uh, transform him into robot mode first just going to uh, detach the arms here go up to the side here bring up the arms yes my this is killing my thumb man this is a tight joint holy shit that was a <laughs> I, that was no joke a struggle there and fold out the legs here, fold these bits out. Go to the back here, fold this out, and fold it back in. And there's Mixmaster, yay! I really like the way he looks. I like the way all these guys look in, these, all these guys look in robot mode. I really dig that his head looks like a Decepticon symbol. I think that's pretty cool. And pretty simple transformation, but he has a big butt. A real big butt. Yeah. So, it's okay. Um, he is what he is. Oh. Yeah, at least he has elbows. Alright, next up. Alright, next up we have Scavenger. And this is one of the smaller vehicle modes in all the Constructicons. But I still like it. It looks really nice. Got a good amount of purple on him uh rolly reels that don't really work all too well because of this big hunk of plastic here and the crane arm works pretty good got plenty of articulation here none in the shovel uh in the swivels here and here so still look works pretty good i know there's a third party company perfect effect i think that made a replacement arm for this but it's fine uh transform into robot mode Compact this down like this. Separate will be the legs here. And fold this whole section up. Rotate these bits around like this. Fold that uh, cab section out like that. And then we just need to kind of just uh, fold out the hands here like so. Okay, fold these up and around backwards like that and rotate the arms up like that. Okay, and, and we'll kind of tricky here. Need to Rotate this whole section up around. There you go. Thumb hurts. Which is why I wasn't really looking forward to doing this review. Because I knew it would hurt me. But it's alright, I guess. Click that in place. This will open up also. that in fold up the head lift the crane up and there you go he actually stands pretty good he's definitely one of the goofier looking robot modes uh, but it's accurate to the G1 model uh, does have a good bulky look to him kind of goofy looking the mouth is weird uh, details are great though. Not much else I can really say about them. Definitely a very G1 accurate looking uh, scavenger. Alright, next we have Scrapper, the leader of the Constructicons. Very cool looking bulldozer truck vehicle thing. I like the, the wheels, the big wheels are always the plus. Uh, 
Not really much. I, I don't like, how, like I said earlier, I don't like these style wheels that they go for now. They're pretty cheap looking. I re wish they would have had some silver paint here also, but not much else you could really do. Uh, transform him. Going to uh, com uh, compress the shovel up like this. Going to go underneath. Uh, pull out the arms and fold out the hands. Get them arms back a little bit like this. And fold will be the feet to down and around. And fold these bits down to finish forming the legs. And move the camera up and just simply fold up to the head and there's scrapper uh this one got a lot of slack about not having the elbows and it's i there's been there's a also the third party company made uh alternate arms for this where he does have uh articulated elbows and the takara tomi version is going to have elbows i personally I feel better about him not having elbows because the entire figure in Devastator mode is going to depend on these shoulders or on these elbows not moving. So I think it's okay for him not for him to be able to do that and not keep his and not having to keep his uh, arms straight down. I think it's a fine sacrifice for a much uh, more reliable Devastator. But other than that, I really like the way the head looks. The head sculpts on all these guys is amazing, in my opinion. It looks great. Uh, here he is. We, it's, I always thought it was kind of funny that the leader of the Constructed Cons was, um, just ended up being a leg. He should have been like a torso or something else. But that's that. And last and but not least, we have Long Haul. And this is a big big uh sucker here he is described as being a leader class size figure which is generous to say he's i'd say about leader class size in vehicle mode uh looks really good i i no longer have the revenge of the fallen long haul um sadly but he he this is a good bit bigger than that one uh, he rolls really nice. There's not much you can really say about him not being a roll because look how size of these wheels. Looks really nice. Uh, transform him. Pretty simple. Get it panned up a little bit. Uh, just going to take the back end here. Fold it up. If you can see. There you go. And bring up the arms like this bring the the front of the truck up like that just gonna get these arms up and out of the way then rotate the whole waist around like so and just let's see separate the feet out and like that just fold these bits around to form his feet. And painfully bring up the head and fold out the hands. And here he is the dump truck, the dumpling, as I like to say, because he is, for how big he is. He looks very short and very fat. He's he's gigantic. He's he's wider, almost wider than he is tall. He's I mean, as height wise, he is about the same as as a Voyager class, say Evasion Prime, but eh, maybe a little bit taller. Uh, but he's wide and he's chunky looking. He he's actually probably my least favorite, even though he's you know the biggest and and one of the sillier ones. He's he he's silly. He's you know he's kind of in, in proportion. Like look how tiny his arms look to his big body. But he he needed to be that big because he is based. He is the core of the figure. Speak of the figure, what's uh. 
get all these guys back into vehicle mode because I like to, you know, Devastator always became Devastator with all the constructor cons going to vehicle mode first. So let's get all of them into vehicle mode. All right, so since we got all the constructor cons back into vehicle mode, let's start off with a long haul, get him into his torso form, mainly because he is a uh, pretty much like the big biggest main piece. Um, already kind of messing it up. Gonna lift this piece up here. Fold these bits here. Open up that here. Fold that up like this. Fold that here. And fold these arms up and kind of leave him like that and we'll set him off to the side next we'll do scavenger uh, go back down a wee bit uh, simply just I say simply like it's like it's not a problem here fold this out like that. Ow, fuck. Fold that back in. And really just need to leave it like this for now. You can do whatever you want with that. And then next up we'll do bone crusher. And pretty much the same thing. Just fold that out, rotate. This piece I like that, and won't have to worry about put, plugging these tank treads in until a little bit later on. Oh, scrapper! Uh, this guy is pretty simple. Just need to get that situated like that. The shovel. Rotate the feet around like so. so. This is what I'm talking about when saying I'm perfectly fine with this guy not having elbows. Rotate these pieces up like that. And fold the feet out like that. This looks kind of goofy now, but it all makes sense in a little bit and then next we'll do mix master simply just fold the foot out like that and then this guy is fucking weird I don't like it very much at all Like it's very weird just to describe. Hold on a second. Always seem to have trouble with this guy. I just always forget I need to separate. Take this out. Lift these pieces back out. Plug it back in. And then always forget about this little piece here that folds out for a heel. Okay. Next. Got hook and very simply just need to um, yes I am using the instructions as a guide because I just want to make sure I don't do anything wrong which I'm pretty certain that I have gotten some things wrong doing this simply just fold this round I actually need to fold the, the arms down like this. So much shit moving. Okay. There we go. And this will just tab into place like so. You move this to the side like that. And 
we need to remember to fold out that clip here and we're going to save the best part for last here all right I forget this is is this important here I'll, we'll figure out in a second all right <laughs> Okay, actually, yeah, I do need to fold this piece out to the side like that. And there's one more here for the arm. I forget if this, if anything attaches to here or not. I don't know. Kind of seems important. Yep, this piece folds around. That's right, I remember. It's been a while since I messed with this guy. But, yep, here we go. So, let's uh, take long haul here actually let's take the camera and bring it up even more and all right so this is about to get big so first step uh, let's see go ahead and take long haul here which i'm still not sure about the placement of these wheels uh we'll go ahead and attach this here firmly and there's multiple points of connections here pretty solid already I'm feeling that it's supposed to go like this but I'm not sure yet all right next we'll take let's do scrapper here and go to the back here. See there's several points of connections here. Is that in? I believe it's in. Nope, nope, not yet, not yet. There's also a little sliding piece here. There we go such a firm connection here not really used to it this as far as combiner wars go such a better uh better gimmick better mechanism than say in menace or superior slide that in here and connect it here all right, so we can lower the camera a little bit now. Get it back in place. Looks kind of messy at the top, but we'll fix that shortly. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this guy, attach him here. Come on. It's not wanting to go in very well. Come on. Why is it not? Cooperating. Just because this was popping in a place, maybe. There we go. All right. back in place you we'll go ahead and uh yeah i'll fix that off camera for a little bit because this is taking far too long as you hear me walk past the camera in the other end here you go that one went on a lot easier yeah if I, this takes a little bit of an oh i forgot to mention that you can attach these silly arm pieces and use them as weapons in both vehicle 
and robot modes, but really, it's a very useless gimmick. Attach that hand there. Rotate this part around, attach that in there, and mm -hmm. this will peg in place it's several parts here. Here, here, and as it falls back out in place, there we go. Come on. Oh. Fun. This is fun. It actually really is, but this part is still annoying. All right, here we go. And last but not least, we'll form the head. And there is Devastator. All right, so sorry if that transformation process was kind of a mess. This is part of the reason why I was not looking forward to doing it because it's big, it's kind of finicky in places, but damn, is it fun. Yeah, I just had to do some touching up off camera, getting this stick in place and attaching the tank treads to long hauls arms here and yeah um i love this fucking thing i love it so so much um uh sorry camera stopped recording there and i did i kind of forgot but also didn't really care that you say that you, you could use uh, like the tank, the arms here, they become cans of vehicle mode and robot mode, and these can be additional weapons for a vehicle mode, but no one really cares about that. It's just additional storage for the junk. Uh, but yeah, this is what is really cared about, and this is a gun we'll get into in a second. Holy crap, this thing has so much detail on him. And got his cool head sculpt there. The San Diego Comic Con version just had the two eyes, which I am not a fan of. I like the visor look for him much more. Got the cool Decepticon symbol here. So much detail on this uh, that you could spend hours just talking about the immense amounts of detail um, on the legs here. Uh, hands. Technically should be purple, but it's not too big of a deal here. And posability wise, he does have a joint here at the shoulder, elbow, you know, have a swivel here. His fingers open and close. Got really clicky waist here. And legs go up back to the side. Can see that? I'm not quite sure. Legs go up, and he has knee joints. That is amazing. Got two knee joints, and he's even got ankle rockers. So you can get him in some pretty crazy poses for how big he is. I mean, look at this. Uh, except, like, I mean, if you can balance him just right, you can. So, yeah. Pretty insane. Okay, let's get him all back. The only downside is, like, you can mess with him a lot like that. I mean, he's solid. He's really, really solid. But he can, like, you know, this part kind of came off a little bit. Which you can... Easily snap that back in place. Like that. Alright. So, and of course, he's got his gun here, which can 
just be held in his hand like that and there you go now he's got his giant gun as well i love this thing i think it's hilarious that the devastator third party wars that we had not too long ago uh that all started with hercules hasbro came out with this big ass son of a bitch um I, th I personally like it better than Hercules and Make Toys Giant. It looks better. It looks very streamlined. I, I just love the proportions of it. And it's not just the size, but I really like the look of it a lot more. Uh, but now there's n n more third-party uh, Devastators coming out, and I lost track. Uh, there's so many different Devastators coming out. Um, but this is the only one that matters to me. This one's a great deal for the price. And the size, how much fun this is to put together. You cannot go wrong with this. This is a must get if you're a Transformers fan. G1 fan, new and old. So much fun. And when they said they could, a few years ago, when they said they could never make a combiner like this again, uh, just due to budget. Well, I guess they got their shit together because here it is and it's awesome. Uh, you can pick this up at BigBadToyStore.com. You can click the link in the script description below. You can follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. You can follow me on Twitch at Twitch.tv slash SSJAutobot. Uh, and I'll catch you next time.